What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mystic Wolf. And welcome back to another video. I know it has been a while since I've even uploaded a video. It's been about five months. I didn't even give you guys a proper welcome introduction to 2023. Happy 2023, happy new year. I didn't even give you guys my top 15 albums of 2022. You, you guys really wanna know? You wanna know? You know what? Let's speed run it right now. I got my laptop with me. So we gonna, we gonna do this together. We got 15 with Conway the Machine. God, don't make mistakes. Little Sims, no thank you. Ari Linux, H Sex and Location, Freddie Gibbs, Sold, Sold Separately, SZA, SOS, Semino, Love for Rent, Earl Sweatshirt, Sick, Beyonce, Renaissance, Pusha T is Almost Dried, Brent Fias, Wasteland, Denzel Curry, Mel My Eyes, Your Future, Steve Lacey, Gemini Rights, Anonymous, Anago, Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale, and the Big Steppers, and number one is GID, the Forever Story. Can we move on now? Because I don't got time for all this. We're not stuck in the past. We're going to go to the future, to the present. So, you know, we here now, all right? I know I haven't been here for a minute. You know, school's been kicking my ass, as always. But fortunately for y'all, next semester is my last one. I'm so freaking excited to be done. And, you know, I'm, I'm now 23 now. Y'all don't care about my age, all right? Y'all looked at the title. Y'all want to know what I've been collecting, what I've been grave diving. This this is our catch-up time, all right? This is our little, you know, listen, we haven't, you know, talked in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, bro, you know, I haven't keeping you updated. Let's let's chat up. You know, I'm back in the hometown. I'm back in my room now. You know, I, you know, updated the wall a little bit. Just this, really. You can't, I mean, some things I've updated, but you can't see it right now. But anyways, um, so I figured why not, you know, since I'm back in action, I'm back in my room and I have free time, why not do an updated vinyl and CD collection video? Since I haven't made one in like about a year or two and you know I feel like I have enough to kind of make a video on it so I don't want to put too much time on it let's just get into the CDs that y'all want to know what I've been collecting so I'm gonna start with the CDs and we're gonna you know move our way up also check out this new shit that I got <laughs> shout out to the sister you feel me let's start off with Pink Panthers with To Hell With It which is a little you know mixtape of all of her hit songs like Passion, Just For Me, Break It Off um even pain as well too and i had to copy because p panthers is literally easily my favorite artist that have came from tiktok and i love her dance edm uh kind of funk and you know groovy you know direction the you know, pop girl direction that she's kind of going into and her recent success with ice spice you know what the the boys in layer has really gotten her popularity up there even more so i'm happy for her you know what i'm saying like she's She's definitely one of my favorites as far as just, you know, the young generation is concerned. And I, I just hope more success is going to come to her in the later future. Hopefully we get an album soon. Next we got is Little Sims with Sometimes I Might Be Introvert, which was my album of the year of 2021, if you guys remember. I mean, what more needs to be said that I haven't said about this album on my previous videos? It's a fantastic CD. It's fantastic artwork. Fantastic songs is the deal with introvert introvert introversation i don't even know if that's a word but the point is the production's fire the the rapping is on point the flows is on point the subject matter is on point very personal very vulnerable album go listen to it what is it doing so i had to go copy it also i forgot to show you guys the uh this as well too this is actually a really cool uh flick of pink panthers you know i also like the cover of the cd that's also fire too next we have is cleo soul mother i love this album easily one of my favorite neo soul projects of the decade so far i mean cleo soul just has a voice man i mean i had to cop this one um i saw this on record stores for like 40 dollars. i was not paying that much for this freaking record but I love this record. If you are interested in more of a self-care, self-love type of record and you need something soft to just, you know, warm your eardrums a little bit, this is the album for you. So go listen to it if you haven't already. She's doing her fucking shit. Joey Badasses, um, All-American Badass. Um, I kind of like that it comes with, with this, you know, uh, bandana of like the American flag. That's kind of cool. But yeah, All-American Badass. One of my favorite Joey Badass projects. Uh, easily from him for since, you know, from 2017. It's really great, really great social, social commentary. Oh my God. Really great social commentary of our world and the state of the world right now. And 
you know, I just love how Joey Badass kind of like, you know, used his experience as well too to kind of talk about his struggles. You know, songs like, you know, Land of the Free, Why Don't You Love Me, you know, Temptation, you know, Devastation as well too. Devastated, I mean. Babylon is a great song. Hell, even Legendary with J. Cole is a really great track off this album. So the next one, obviously, y'all thought is coming, but I had to go and get my boy Kendrick with Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Y'all know I love this damn project. I made a whole review on my channel if you haven't already go check that shit out but i needed to get it because you know i needed to collect i needed to finish my my kendrick discog you know i have all of his damn records at this point so yeah i mean not my favorite kendrick Lamar project i still prefer good kid and you know took up a butterfly over this project but it's definitely i would say it's a little bit better than dan for me at least it's kind of my top three favorite kendrick project probably even fourth it kind of changes depending on my mood but it's still a great project. It wasn't the fireworks that a lot of people were expecting Kendrick to go in after Damn, but I would say it was worth the five years, in my opinion. Next thing, we have Silk Sonic with a evening with Silk Sonic with Anderson Pop and Bruno Mars. Love this album. It's easily one of the greatest, one of the best vintage uh pop and soul albums of uh 2021 oh we also got a little peacock which is really cool kind of reminds me of like the 80s and 90s but you know really good homage if you ever listen to delphonics you know um earth wind and fire izzy brothers it's a nice homage to like you know that era of music and come on like i leave the door open you know smoking out the window classics classics another purchase that i got was adele with 30 and this was a surprise because i went to target this one day and i just saw it on the store as well like, i gotta go and copy but yeah adele you know i loved her stuff even when i was younger with like rolling in the deep i never really got keen to her music like that especially like a full length but this one really stopped me in my tracks i really just love love the subject matter of this although she was you know it's very dark talking about you know the divorce of her husband it's a very emotional and very impactful uh listen i really loved it so i just shout out to adele honestly next thing we have is push a t with almost dry um this just has a blank uh black back. this doesn't even have any art like come on push it like you could have done better than that. but Easy, one of my favorites of 2022. Um, it's not better than to Daytona, in my opinion, but it's still quality with the perf with the Pharrell and Kanye production. And you know, it was just one of those things I just had to cop for myself because it, it was still a really decent and really not decent, but it was a really great bar filled album that I think a lot of hip hop and pur uh, purists are gonna definitely enjoy. We have is Beyonce with Renaissance. Like, come on, bro, come on, bro. This is easily one of my favorite albums. That have come out uh, from last year. I mean, I already like the Lemonade, and she just already impressed with this album. Um, just the, the direction that she went into, like, you know, with Break My Soul, America Has a Problem, you know, um, I'm an uh, alien superstar. I'm actually going to be seeing her in July, so I'm going to be doing a little, you know, vlog on that. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. But yeah, love this project. I mean, what more needs to be said about this project that the Beehive hasn't already said? I mean, it's just a really fun project, you know, from front to back. So next thing is the old record. What we got is Denzel Curry with Unlocked with Kenny Beats collab project. You know, it's pretty short, about seven to eight tracks at least. Um, yeah, about seven to eight tracks. So, you know, it's really cool. Really fire artwork, you know, fire music from Kenny Beats and Denzel Curry. They make a really good pairing. And, you know, I just needed to cop this, you know, because it's Denzel Curry, man. I mean, shoot, he's been all over this place. I mean, it's a fire tape. You know, you need to get it acclimated if you haven't already. And also, we have another Denzel Curry project that came out last year, which is Melt Your Eyes, See Your Future. I'm going to remove the little... A band or whatever but yes one of the best albums that came out last year um you know definitely i want to say a complete departure of his sound just a little bit more mellow a little bit more conscious and a little bit more introspective than his usual stuff where it's more you know yells like in your face i love that he kind of went to a very calm approach with this album it kind of makes us as listeners digest the music and what he's going through a lot more and you know just songs like walking and and you know um Sounds like with, with T-Pain, even like, like that little posse cut with you no know, Jade and, you know, um, and uh, Rico Nasty was fantastic. And just even how it's written as well, too, is probably one of Denzel's best. Next thing we have, which is Paramore with This Is Why. This is my first rock 
little CD that I've owned. Um, I never really am, I haven't gotten into a pair more stuff until now, and I really feel like I, I, I kind of slept on them. This is easily one of my favorite projects of this year, spoiler alert. Um, I, I didn't even think I was gonna be interested in this project until the single for this came out, which is the news, and easily blew my expectations Then I listened to it in a room when I was in college, and I was like, yeah, this this is really good. Like, the hooks are fantastic. The singing from Haley Williams is amazing. The band, the, the arrangements, the strings, and even the guitars are, are fantastic. Like, everything just comes together with this album. So, you know, if you guys need to listen to something this year, definitely get to put it to... Um, Paramore, this is why. This is definitely it's, it's, it's definitely an album worth your time. Next thing is The Weeknd with My Dear Melancholy. I feel like, you know, we don't really need to talk about The Weeknd at this point. It's, Jesus. We don't need to talk about The Weeknd at this point. His, you know, I think his reputation precedes himself, you know. It was a nice little EP that came out 2018. I need to cop it because I have pretty much every single Weeknd project up until this point. Very dark, kind of goes back to his old sound. And I, you know, kind of enjoyed the vibes that was provided on this album. Really more mellow, some shit from Gus Goffenstein. And, and you know, yeah, I mean, the weekend is doing weekend shit. I don't know what else to tell you. Next thing we have, and I have to cover it because I don't want to get like TOS, but we have, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we have Death Grips with um, the Money Store. Uh, definitely one of those records from uh, 2012, you know, very experimental. We have freaking Rod over here pissing on the damn floor like a damn madman. But yeah, this album is freaking insane. Jesus with the experimentation, with the off-kilter production, really distortion everywhere. It's really intense listen, but I'm not going to lie. Something about this album kind of, you know, keeps me going from lit. Well, something about this album kind of keeps me wanting to watch it and listen to it even even more and I don't know something about like I don't know it's like cocaine for breakfast I, I just needed to cop this record next thing is J Miss Janet with the Velvet Rope easily one of my favorite albums I've heard from Janet um before it was actually uh self-titled it was actually the Janet album but something about this record uh, please don't mind the damn CD freaking falling up you know but Talking about this album, man, is very, very vulnerable. It's actually very, actually a lot better than uh, Janet, in my opinion. It's very, it allows you into your, you know, into her world. You know, I like that she used Velvet Rope as a metaphor uh, to kind of, you know, um, separate herself from like the fame and like her personal life and allowing you into her, you know, you know, vulnerable uh, place of, of, you know, and uncertainty, abuse as well too, depression, the shit that she was going through when she dyed her hair, when she got tattoos. Very dark album, but it was still a great record nonetheless. Next thing we have is Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib with Pinata, cult classic from the dudes. They are doing a thing out here, 2014. Really good ass project. I know it took me forever to get this project, but I needed to get it. I needed to add it into my discography. I, mean, I had Mad Lib, I had you know Mad Villainy, and I had Pan, you know Bandana. So why not you know get Pinata? You know, slide it into my little collection. But yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, if you haven't listened to Freddie Gibbs already, you're kind of missing out. You know, it's I would say it's kind of like you know the sequel of Mad Villainy if MF Doom was rapping on it. But yeah, the bars are fantastic. The production's fantastic. The features are fantastic. Just a really all in all very great project from you know these two guys and you know even bandana even proves to be uh, just as quality as bandana too next thing we have is michael jackson with bad i know i'm pretty late to the party with this album but it's one of my favorite michael jackson projects i still love off the wall and thriller more than this project but i still have a lot of like favoritism to this project i mean come on this album freaking has Man in the Mirror, it has Dirty Diana, Can't Stop Loving You, it has Smooth Criminal, Leave You Alone, Mate, wait, the, the, the Way You Make Me Feel, and even Bad. So it has too much classics to not freaking get it. I mean, it's Michael Jackson. I don't even know what I need to say more about Michael Jackson. Next thing, uh, and recently, uh, this is more 2023. I mean, all this was 2023, but a more recent, recent record is Daniel Caesar with Never Enough. This is also a signed little CD, a little card that he gave, uh, which is really cool. So thank you, Mr. Caesar, if you watch this. But yeah, um, really great mellow project from him. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people got on this gone on this case because he got canceled for what he had said a few years ago, but I don't care, man. I mean, the music, the nigga makes great music. He already apologized. 
I, I feel like we can, you know, call him. Come on. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, cancel some dude just because, you know, he had said some stupid shit. We all said stupid shit. Plus, there's way more people that we need to be concerned about and be canceling than freaking Daniel Caesar, in my opinion. But the album is fantastic. You need to go listen to it if you haven't already. Probably one of my favorite R&B projects of this year next to the Cali U just one. So... Get, get acquainted, get acquainted, I get freaking acquainted. We got LP from JPEG Mafia. Y'all don't know about JPEG Mafia. He's a New York, Baltimore artist. I mean, he has one hell of a story, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I wish I had veteran, but you know, this was one of my favorite projects of 2021. So I'm kind of happy to have this in my per 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 possession. This also has two discs. One is the original with all the vocals and just JPEG Mafia rapping. And this one slide has all the instrumentals of all the beats on this album. So that's really cool. I wish more artists did this, especially like maybe Tyler or, Kent or you know, Kanye. That would be really nice. Cause you know, since you're a producer, we would love to hear your beats in full. So, you know, glad on JPEG Mafia for doing this shit. Next thing we have is Chicano and Granddad Wooly with Kano Dada Experiment 7. This I kind of stumbled upon uh, from a fellow YouTuber named uh, Grandad Wooly. He makes a lot of, you know, hip hop uh, YouTube videos. He used to, but he doesn't do it as much anymore. But, you know, he had made some music prior to his making his, you know, YouTube videos or whatever. And I kind of heard it and I thought it was cool, but then he was promoting this 2019. And I was like, yo, I'm about to go listen to it. Why not? really freaking good stuff if you guys love like Wu tang and i like mf doom and like storytelling and like 3d production and like lyricism you're, you're gonna really get something uh, a, a good treat out of this record the production is fantastic the rapping it's fantastic coming from a youtuber it's very really good it's really good it's probably better than a lot of albums that y'all are listening to nowadays i'm not even gonna lie like i would not even give this much attention to a cd if i didn't think this was the case but yeah shout out to granddad bully the, the freaking amazing you know imagery that he you know presents on this album it's godly amazing so hats out to you sir if you ever watched this video thank you so much for a great record my final as far as like cds are concerned we got is igor by tyler the creator at this point, I, I just have every single media software of this man. I got the I got the cassette, I got the vinyl, and now I got the CD. So I was like, fuck it, you know, I'm going to go get a CD. It's Tyler, Igor, nigga, come on. Like, it's one of my favorite projects of 2019 and probably ever. I'm not even going to lie. It's a great record. Why do you not have this in your possession? And then we have the recent Estate of Sale, you know, that has Dog Tooth, that has What A Day, that has um heaven to me that has sorry not sorry all the damn pride songs ready and accounted for so yeah glad i got this record you know it was really out of nowhere that tyler kind of announced it but i was like hey you know new tyler for me yeah i'm not gonna <laughs> let him complain about that so yeah fire i'm really glad to have uh owned it it's uh good stuff so yeah, uh, that's kind of concludes my CD portion of things. And now we're gonna get into the vinyl section of the video. So now, starting off, which I did not show on my original vinyl video is Bandana from Freddie Gibbs. Yes, I'm sorry to the guys that I, I, I had this album and I just never showed it to you guys. But yeah, you know, standard black vinyl, come on now. I mean, it's, and it, it just comes with a paper of just all like, the production and who you know you know the, the sample where it came from or whatever i mean i would just expect a little bit more considering you know it's bandana with freddie gibbs and madlib i would think there would be some art or something but whatever i guess we have is fanta hughes with hughes i love this record if you guys don't know who fanta hughes is she was on that one song off of call me if you get lost by tyler the creator I think it was sweet slash think uh i thought you wanted to dance yeah oh she was on i thought you wanted to dance and i remember uh, i loved her voice so much i didn't know she had a project around 2021 uh 2020 called hughes and i figured why not give it a shot it's really fucking good y'all it's a really good r&b album and i think you guys really should go and listen to it my favorite is yellow um i would say notice me um, even like Desert Flower, like, a lot of good tracks off of here. Another underrated artist, if you haven't checked her out already, I think she's definitely worth your time. Just really mellow, really soft. Um, she kind of reminds me a little bit of like Erica Badu, but just 
a slight Ari Lennox like influence. It's really good. I think you guys would genuinely enjoy this record. Next vinyl that we have is Call Me If You Get Lost. Not the estate sale, but the original Call Me If You Get Lost. It's just the vinyl cover of it. And you know, it's Tyler. I mean, come on, if you guys don't know, I mean, at this point it's Call Me If You Get Lost, so. Next, we have Dawn FM from last year with the freaking weekend with Abel Tesfaye, yeah, Abel, Abel Tesfaye himself. I got this on Target and it looks fire. This The cover looks sick. I probably like it a little bit more than the original cover, but it is what it is. But yeah, the weekend, man. I mean, come on, Abel. Uh, I kind of like After Hours just a little bit more than this album, but this album is freaking quality as fuck. I mean, the grooves on here. I mean, the songs on here. Sacrifice is fantastic. Next we have is Solange, A Seat at the Table. I had gotten this from uh, a record store a while back. I had gotten this last year, I believe. Um, me and a friend, uh, we had went vinyl records uh, hunting together. She had gotten Endless by uh, Frank Ocean, I believe whoa and then i got this record so you know it kind of this this album always reminds me of that day when i first did get that vinyl i mean when i did uh meet that friend it, it's uh amazing but yeah nothing too crazy uh just credits and just more sheets this is like a two oh you got some art here which is kind of cool but yeah nothing too crazy just black vinyl and the second to last vinyl i gotta show y'all is steve lacy with Gemini Rights. If you guys don't know, I've seen this man uh, in concert uh, last semester, and it was fantastic. It was probably one of the you know best concerts I've, I've been to next to Tyler and you know seeing like Kendrick or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's freaking Steve Lacey, man. I mean, uh, this man is funny. This man won a Grammy. This man performed at the Grammys. And I'm just so happy for him. Uh, he's coming from the internet. This being such an underdog, you know, with, you know, this being an alternative um, R&B artist. And uh, I'm just so happy that he's getting the love and the recognition that he deserves. It's definitely one of my favorite albums of uh, last year. And I'm just happy to have finally have this album in my possession. And the final vinyl that I gotta show y'all is a classic, The Thriller, Thriller Night by Michael Jackson. Yeah, feel me. Um, this is the 40th anniversary version. This concludes a slip mat, which is pretty nice. This is pretty, pretty nice. And then, you know, we got some art, you know, some lyrics, production credits, things of that nature. It's not the original, but who cares? I mean, it's the it's the album, right? So I'm gonna go copy. I don't really care what you gotta say. That's all of the vinyl and CDs I wanted to share to you guys. I mean, it was 26 minutes, so it kind of ran pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna cut most of this out, but yeah, that's really all the stuff I wanted to show you. I guess this is my you know nice little way to you know come back into content creating. Um, I don't really know what I kind of am going to do with this channel. I'm gonna try to do some vlogs and maybe like you know show you guys some. You know, maybe just, I don't know. I'm gonna do whatever. I don't know what the future of this channel will be. You, I, I, I might vlog, you know, me skating and I'm just going on a, a crazy adventure, who knows? Or I might go thrifting again, I might vlog that. I mean, I'm gonna go vlog that Beyonce concert, that's for sure. And um, there is a particular album that I am done with, which <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for that. But I'm finally done with it, y'all. And I'm so excited for you guys to, you know, see the rollout see what I got in store um, artistically for my music career and I I can't really wait I cannot wait y'all but that concludes this video if you guys have some CDs and vinyl that y'all want to show out or that you have and you want to tell me let me know in the comment section below let me guys know what you want to see from me in this channel I mean I don't know I mean there's not a lot of music or stuff that's really come out this shit that's worth talking about so I don't know uh, this is kind of quickly becoming a music channel at this point so <laughs> I don't know. You might get more music related content from me if you die. At least don't, you don't. But at this point, I don't really care. I'm going to come back to it whenever I want to. I'm not going to force anything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time with another video. Y'all have a great one. Peace.